Okay, so we've got uh, one minute to prove that uh, i to the power of i, both of which are imaginary, equals e to the minus pi over 2, uh, which is real. So let's go. Right, we have that i equals the square root of minus 1, which is a number that only exists in the imagination of mathematicians because there is no real uh, square root of minus 1. Um, looking at on an argon diagram, where we've got this is the real and this is the imaginary, i is here, where this distance is 1. And the argument here is pi over 2. So we can rewrite uh, i, which is in the general form, uh, we can rewrite it in the polar form, and if the polar form doesn't mean anything to you, please watch our video, uh, Three Forms of uh, Complex Numbers, we can rewrite it as uh, r cos theta add i sine theta, or we can rewrite it as 1 uh, cos of pi over 2 add i sine of pi over 2, oops, sorry, pi over 2, ah pi over 2, and in exponential form that would be 1 e to the i pi over 2, which is just e to the i pi over 2. So we have i equals e to the i pi over 2. Now using our uh, laws of indices we have that uh, a to the power of uh, m to the power of n equals a to the mn, so if we raise both sides uh, of our equation by i, so i to the power of i equals e to the i uh, pi over 2 to the power of i, i to the power of i equals e to the i squared pi over 2, and i squared is minus 1 because i is the square root of minus 1, so therefore i to the power of i equals e to the minus pi over 2, et voila.